Hello, my green light the day family. I didn't realize the camera was on. No, I'm not naked. I have a I have a dress on, but it looks kind of like I'm naked here. But anyways, I just got back from golfing. I'm making my night uh, this video the night before because I'm really tired and I'm hoping that I can sleep in a little bit in the morning. But I was going to talk about something totally different. Oh, by the way, I had like an awesome, awesome golf game. My best game ever. I shot. I think two pars and three that was just one stroke over and it was I had the best score on the nine holes that I that I have had um, in the the last two seasons for our ladies night so it was an awesome night anyways um, I had planned to talk about something different this week but I when I got home I flipped on the TV and there was a movie on called about time and it was about a fellow who does um, is able to travel back in time into the past and um, towards the end of this movie his father is diagnosed with cancer and ends up dying and before he dies he shares what is one of his uh, greatest secrets and that is that um, throughout his life his father would live every day twice so he'd go through once living just living life right just ordinarily going through it worrying about the things you worry about and just living life and then at the end of the day, he would travel back in time and relive that day only this time because he would know now what sort of what would go wrong if something was going to go wrong. And he would know that he didn't have to worry about the things that he probably had worried about that day. Um, he could relish every single moment and, and notice all of... Um, the moments of beauty or um, joy that a lot of times escape us in, in our hustle and bustle and hurry of life and that that second time round um, he would just absorb every bit of joy that he could out of the day. So his son proceeds to do that for the next little while. Um, and then a moment comes when he, um, him and his wife decide that they're going to have another child. And when that occurs, he can no longer travel back in time um, prior to when the child is born. Because if he does, there is the potential that if something gets changed, that he would come back and have a different child. And so he has to make the choice to either have another child with his wife, um, and never see his father again or never have another child in order to continue traveling back in time to see his father. He decides to have a child and the last part of the movie the, the, he, he speaks about the fact that he had finally learned the greatest lesson of all and that was that he was no longer reliving every day. He wasn't living every day twice he was just making sure that every day that he lived, he lived fully relishing all of those little moments that we forget, like the dew on a flower in the morning, or uh, a beautiful sunset, or the laugh of a child, um, the smile of a stranger, all of those things that, that can bring us joy, that, that can um, lift our day if we allow ourselves to be aware and live fully and present each and every day and that just really struck me because in the in the last few weeks um, last two or three weeks and I think it's just because it's been really busy with the garden and everything and I'm you know driving home every weekend which is a three-hour drive there and a three-hour drive back um, in order to get sort of all the gardening stuff done and you know there's just lots going on right and so I've been tired and I've been getting kind of bitchy and I've perhaps not been doing that I mean I, I get a great deal of joy out of doing the work that I'm doing but there are times when I'm just tired and and I think I've been allowing myself to relish those golden moments in every single day because they're there if you look for them and so that's that's my um, takeaway from this movie is that I just I just want to be more aware of the joyful and not be so um, focused on all of the things that need to get done. 
I don't have to do everything um, every day. And even as far as all of the garden stuff, you know, I, I, I made um, a couple of different kinds of soup, a sweet cabbage soup that my mom used to make, and I made a big thing of borscht and, and froze several packages for the winter. Um, and I was going to do a vegetable soup that she makes, and, um, I, you know, I think maybe I won't. There's a few packages left in the freezer. They'll be fine. And maybe that's something I'll do next year, right? Um, I don't have to do everything, right? I, I want to take more time just to enjoy um, the time with Dad and the kids out there, my friends here, and um, in life in general. So... I hope that you'll do that too. Sometimes we get so busy rushing around and worrying about all of those details that need to get done that we forget to stop and smell the roses. So anyways, I know it's an old mes message, but um, it's a valid message that I think we all um, can be reminded of um, every once in a while because we forget. I hope that you're taking care of yourself and each other. Make a great day. Bye now.